So this is set in the 70s and is essentially the story of Rudy Ray Moore. At least I think that's his name. Basically a middle-aged, over-the-hill recording artist who never made it big. But that's not to say he's given up on his aspirations to be an entertainer. Far from it, he's still got all the motivation he needs to get out there and chase his dreams. And through a series of rather dubious events, he sort of hatches this scheme to reinvent himself. And he ends up coming up with this pimp character, Dolomite, and things sort of go from there. We get to follow his journey as he figures things out and navigates the entertainment industry. From live stage shows to live recordings to eventually attempting to make movies. Now I was aware of this character before, I knew he existed. Like in real life, this is actually based on a real guy, in case you were unaware. But I'd never actually seen or heard any of his work before. So I didn't really know what to expect going into this, other than the visual of this over-the-top pimp guy. And I obviously wasn't familiar with his story or his journey either. I'm also not convinced I'd been that interested in this, had the character been played by anyone else than Eddie Murphy who by the way is pretty good in this, but I have to say Wesley Snipes kinda stole the show here. He's got a bit of a minor role, but I thought he was just perfect in this, just great all around. However, the rest of the crew did a good job too, no complaints in the acting department. In fact, I didn't really have any issues with this whatsoever. I look at my notes and there's not really anything negative at all. This is just a very solid, perfectly enjoyable, kinda fun and oddly inspirational movie. Speaking of which, this is sort of an underdog movie really. About a guy who just refuses to take no for an answer and basically manifests success in his life. And yeah, that really ends up making this a strangely uplifting and positive movie. Which is not necessarily the kind of story I was thinking this would be. But it is, and I really ended up having a good time with it. That being said, I don't think it's an extraordinary movie in any way. Just the epitome of solid all around, which probably has a lot to do with director Craig Brewer too. Who's done a ton of stuff, and admittedly I haven't seen most of it. I did enjoy Hustle and Flow though, and I think Black Snake Moan with Sam Jackson is highly underrated. With that being said, I don't think I've seen anything from him since then, so in well over a decade. But apparently he still got it and knows how to put together a good movie. But I mean, the writing was also pretty decent, as was pretty much everything else too. The sets and the costumes felt maybe a tad bit costumey and overdone, just to really get that 70s vibe going, but I wouldn't say that was an issue either. And yeah, overall the story and the characters were fairly compelling too. Although I wouldn't call them necessarily the most fleshed out or complex characters I've seen either. Which again, just goes to show that this thing just did everything well enough. Nothing really felt clumsy or weak, but nothing really blew me away either. And I don't have anything to really dig into and praise or critique. I really struggle to find things to say about this, and I don't know what else to bring up really. I've said it all already. It's a good movie, very enjoyable. But would I recommend it? I mean, sure, I don't see a lot of people coming away from this hating it. It's kind of a likable movie. So, you know, maybe give it a shot. Or don't. After all, I'm not your dad. But hey, what are your thoughts on this? Have you seen it? Did you like it? Let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, maybe give it a thumbs up or sub to the channel, because that would be absolutely fantastic. And if you'd like, you can also support me on Patreon or PayPal through the links in the description. And as always, I appreciate you and thanks for watching.